and welcome back. I'm Berlin the Peach and we're back in Hogwarts Legacy. Continuing since last time, we have explored the library down below there in the dungeons and we have found a book for Professor Fig. So we gotta get back to him. So let's do just that. Oh, who's this? Oh, I see. We waited until daytime. Mm-hmm. Hello, Lenora. What are you looking at? Everyone thinks I'm utterly balmy. Samantha thinks I'm potty. But it's this painting. I never noticed it before. If I know Hogwarts, and I do, an empty frame doesn't appear for no reason. There's something more to this. Um, okay. Have you learned? Have you gained any insights about the painting since you've been studying it? I did discover that casting Lumos has an effect of some kind, but I'm not sure what to do next. Okay, are there other paintings like this? Are there other empty paintings like this around the school? Yes, a few. This entire place is somewhat of a riddle, to be honest. If I can work out the riddle of this one, I'll know what to do with all of them. As good a place as any to begin. If I have the time, I may look. Could be intriguing. I've been racking my brains long enough. I hope you'll have better luck than I have. Okay, I'm guessing this is Do another. Come and find me if you stumble on something illuminating that solves the mystery. Another side quest. Okay, so Lumos. Lumos. That spot must be a clue. I should look around in case it's nearby. Oh, interesting. So it shows us a location. So it's like by the staircase, and there's a statue on the right. Okay. Well, I think you should fly outside of school bound. Um, is it this staircase? No, there's no statue here. Huh. It's down below. Oh, is it on this side? Aha! Uh -huh, it this is. looks like the location from the painting. <clears throat> what could be so special about it? Um. Okay. How about Revelia? Revelia. Oh, field guide page. Okay, statue of Gregory the Smarmy. Uh, this statue with an ingratiating grin depicts the medieval wizard Gregory the Smarmy, the wizard famous for inventing Gregory's. Unctuous unction, a potion that makes the drinker believe whoever gave them the potion is their best friend. Okay, interesting. Ah, oh, we collected eight guide pages. Right. Uh, oh, what's that? Uh, what is that? Rebellion. What is that? How do we... Lumos. Let's get you back to your frame, little moth. Mm hmm? To your frame? Wait, does it... need to go in here? <laughs> I knew there was a connection. I should tell Lenora that I solved the puzzle of that empty frame. Oh. And field guide? Oh. oh, and it disappears. Cool. Alright. Nice. Okay, so Professor Fig. Let's go. Oh, this Lenora here. Okay. Lenora, I solved the mystery of that painting. You did? How? We're so proud. I found the location depicted in the painting, and then I cast Lumos to guide a moth back to the frame. All very logical, I suppose. A pity I was so close to solving it. You have a knack for solving riddles. Natty's good at that too. So is Meat, although he does tend to over-explain. Well, I'm glad someone figured it out. Oh, should the we- moth! I should have seen that. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe we shouldn't have told her. 
Oh, what? Another level? Nice. Level seven. All right, so Professor Fig, oh my gosh. Oh, who's that? You cannot be serious. Goblins working with Rookwood makes no sense. It is rather unorthodox, to say the least. Unorthodox? It's inconceivable. It's... Ah, Fig. You have a visitor. I'll see what I can find out. Hmm. What's that guy? Sir, Professor I was able to search the restricted section while you were with Professor Black. It was a book we were after. What? That's... Wait. You accessed the restricted section? But how? Thinking on it, perhaps it's best you spare me the details. <laughs> Fair enough. In fact, the book was below the restricted section, as it appeared on the map. I want to hear everything. First, let's have a look. Oh, is this the book? Oh. Oh, dear. Some of these pages seem to be missing. It appears someone has got to the book before us. Still, I will need time to study what remains. Perhaps we can still salvage something useful, though it may take some time. I wonder why it was here, below Hogwarts. I think I know, sir. I saw two more memories where I found the book. Another pensive. Godric's heart. The man we saw before, Percival Rackham, was a professor here. The first memory showed him and three other professors using ancient magic to restore a hamlet from a drought. Miriam was right. And the second memory? In the second, they were talking to a student who started as a fifth year, like I did. She could see traces of magic, too. Why those memories? Hmm. Perhaps this book will explain. I'll have to take it with me to London. The headmaster has insisted that I speak directly to the minister about George's death. Okay. What will you tell them? What will you tell them about Mr. Osric's death? I don't know how much I dare say. George tried to convince the ministry about Ranrock, but to no avail. My instinct is to follow the path we are on for the moment and keep the details to ourselves until we know more. I understand. I'll see what I can learn about the missing pages while you're gone. Good. Don't neglect your studies. Your wand work is improving by the day. But you'll want to pay attention in herbology and potions. There's more to magic than spell casting. Plenty to keep me occupied while you're gone. You've done exceptionally well. I look forward to seeing all that you've accomplished when I return. Mm. Oh, and don't neglect your friends. You may be surprised by how much you can learn from them as well. Gotcha. Okay, we got more and collected rewards. Uh, what is the next order of business? Meet me in Lower Hogsfield as soon as possible. I would like to talk to you about Rookwood and Harlow, and it might be best to do so outside of the castle. Oh, okay. Natty wants to read up, uh, meet us. Oh, I'm pressing, pressing, oh. Oh, zero. Professor Fig and Weasley have asked that I teach you an additional defensive spell. Please complete the assignments I have given you, and then proceed to see me in my classroom. Okay. Natsy just sent you an owl post requesting to meet her in Lower Hawksfield Hamlet. Open. Okay, so let's meet Natsy first. Natsy is there. Um, we haven't, we haven't unlocked anything here, so I think we're going to have to walk there. Oh, this world, oh, world map, oh, check this out. This is the world map. Most of the map is covered by fog, limiting what you can see. Hamlets are small communities throughout the world. Uh, this is the Hamlet Lower Hogsfield. Uh, Hamlets provide new opportunities for vendors, flu flames, side quests, and collectibles. 
Lower Hawksfield is located in the countryside and is the closest hamlet to Hogwarts. In reverence to the school that taught them all, the ha inhabitants decided uh, on the name Hawksfield. However, around the same time, the villagers uh, of Upper Hawksfield also opted for the name Hawksfield after Hawksmeade. Thus, an unhappy compromise was decided upon and each village added a qualifier to the name. Ah, okay. Lower and Upper Hawksfield then. Gotcha. As you explore, you will remove fog and reveal more of the map, unveiling uh, new opportunities like hamlets, dungeons, bandit camps, and many other locations. Okay. So let's see. What do we want to do first? So, live as a student. So, okay, so we got uh, a new class, Herbology, to attend and meet with Matty here. Then we have. Oh, oh, we see. So it's this or that. And then here we have some assignments successfully avoid enemy attacks by dodge rolling and cast incendio on enemies okay i guess we'll complete this eventually as we go around and talk to okay uh lucan he's got a new uh crossed wands thing available and a new practice as well okay so how about we attend a herbology class i want to do that Let's do that first. Should be not too far from here. Yeah, just through this door. Oh. Oh. Oh, wow, cool. Greenhouses, blue flame. Ooh, this is so cute. All right, let's attend our class. Oh, oh, we can collect stuff from here. Cool. We still haven't figured out if we can like uh, do any crafting yet. I guess we'll learn eventually. Morning, Professor Garlic. How wonderful it Garlic. is to see you again, Lenora dear. Oh, here, you'll need these for today's class. Uh, um, uh, a little treat for your auntie. Ah, oh, hello. Class, please welcome the newest rose in our garden. <laughs> look at us. <laughs> we do look forward to growing together. We stand out so much. How thrilling it is to have everyone back together again. This year will be filled with enchantment and excitement, but the most important thing cultivated in herbology is knowledge. The prudent herbologist is no more afraid of the venomous tentacular than the bouncing bowl. Now then, today we will be acquainting ourselves with the malefic tuba known as the mandrake root. Oh, I remember this one. Accio. Let's see if we can't make our fibrous friends a bit more comfortable, shall we? <laughs> First, let's protect our ears. <laughs> now, everyone, grip their mandrake by the tendrils and give it a firm tug. Ooh. <laughs> oh my god! Quickly! Place your mandrake in the new pot and cut down the soil! That was so cute. Uh, we cut. How do we. Oh! Should so envelop cute. the root like a warm, dirty blanket, putting the mandrake right at ease. Repair it. I'm very sorry about that. Yours was a bit mature, I'm afraid. All right then, off you go. Splendid work, everyone. 
<laughs> now for our next task, we'll be planting Dittany at our potting tables. You can all get started. I need to have a brief word with our new student. Okay. She mm. wants to talk with I wonder if hippogriffs like not grass. Yes, Professor? Firstly, well done with your mandrake. They can be rather difficult to get a grasp of. <laughs> um. Actually, I enjoyed it. I couldn't help but catch her enthusiasm. How kind of you. It seems you're already taking to herbology like a mandrake to fresh soil. Now, as I mentioned, next we'll be planting dittany. Let us find you some seeds. I already have some, Professor. Picked them up in Hogsmeade. You visited the Magic Neep. Wonderful! A prepared student is bound to bloom. I've arranged for you to have your own potting table here in the classroom. It wasn't easy to spare one on such late notice. Plant the seeds there now, and you can return to harvest them later. Even with soil, sunlight, and a bit of magic, they will take time to grow. Okay. Let's see how to balance my star thistle arrangement. Nifflers fancy or roses? So let's see. So we got. Disney's restorative oh, yeah. properties make it a oh, vital oh. ingredient in the Wiganweld potion, as you all should know from Professor Sharp's class. Okay. So we unlock now uh, planting stuff. Gotcha. So select the available seeds to begin planting. Once the seeds have been planted, the plant will take time to grow before being ready to harvest. Okay, so these are the seeds we've got. Uh -huh. Okay. So ready in nine minutes. Yields five. You can add fertilizer to this plant to increase its yield. You can increase fertilizer by conjuring a dunk composter. Okay, so... Well done! Once it can be harvested, your dittany will be ready to use in Wiganweld potion. I'll let Professor Sharp tell you about that. Okay. Now, what say we branch out? Introduce you to a different sort of flora, the Chinese chomping cabbage. What? You'll find that <gasps> some plants are better suited to uses outside of a cauldron. The cabbages do get testy without something to chew. Fortunately, I have a dummy for them to gnaw on. Be a dear, and let them have a good chomping. Yes, Professor. They're in the other greenhouse. It's just at the end of the footbridge leading out of this room. Your classmate, Mr. Pruitt, has kindly offered to accompany you. Come back and see me when you're finished. Oh, and mind your fingers. They do bite. Gotcha. Mind our fingers. Okay. Uh, so, are you coming with with us, this guy? The best time to plant a seed is last season. The second best time is now. Uh, Keep at it. Okay. Hello. Ah, Saw you on your way to okay. Hogsmeade the other day. Nice to meet you. I'm Leander. I'll be showing you the Chinese chomping cabbages. Up these stairs will take us there. But, your lead. Okay. Gotcha. Let's go. Nice work in defense against the dark arts, by the way. Excuse me? Your duel with Sebastian. And he's good. <laughs> Thinks he's really good. But you outright slaughtered him. It was brilliant. Uh, oh, well, thank you. Not this way. I nearly put Sebastian in his place myself. I mean, I would have if Hecate hadn't stopped me. Didn't she stop that dragon skull from crushing you? Typical Slytherin trick, dropping a dragon skull on someone during a fight. We Gryffindors fight with honor. And uh, Hufflepuffs too. Here we are, home of the Chinese chomping cabbage. Okay. Go on, grab a few of those cabbages. Just, now, see that dummy? Just toss the cabbages at it, and they'll do the rest. Okay, how do we toss them? Tab. Attack the target dummy with... Okay, so hold tab and tap to open the tool wheel and assign the Chinese chomping cabbages. Then tap, tap. Okay. Ah. A chomping cabbage. Like so. Okay, and then I guess we aim. Oh. Oh! Look at that! 
They'll chomp on anything they can get their uh, mouths on. <laughs> Mum planted some in her garden last year to keep the gnomes out. Did save her the denoming, but they left her honking daffodils in tatters. Vicious little bastards, aren't they? My kind of plants. Not like stupid booba tubers and bouncing bulbs. The kind of plants that just have your back in a fight. Uh, not saying you can't go it alone, but, well, imagine that wasn't a dummy. Cool. So we just throw these at our enemies and they'll get numbed? I was imagining it already. Trust me, Leander. I was imagining it the entire time. <laughs> you were? I mean, of course. You're uh, not someone to be trifled with. I see that. <laughs> Dogweed and death cap has more of them, if you're keen. Other plants too. Ones your parents wouldn't plant in the garden. You get the idea. Anyway, we uh, probably ought to head back to class. Okay. Take gotcha. your time. I'll see you back in class. So we can carry... Oh! What happened to you? Okay, so can we take all of these? We got five. Seven? Okay, we'll keep them. We will keep them. Anything down here? Nope. All right, let's head back to the class. Okay, we gotta talk to Professor. I attended to the Chinese chomping cabbages, Professor. Remarkable plants, aren't they? I hope they weren't too much trouble. Oh, don't see any bite marks or missing digits. <laughs> and good, as you do seem to be quite green-fingered. Oh, I'm eager to see your skill in the soil continue to blossom. As the my plants offer so much. Sure. Magical plants have so much to offer. I'm eager to learn more. I'm glad. Herbology is a bounteous subject. Tend to your garden, and it will tend to you. Huh. Well, I suppose that's everything. Do come by for a chat sometime. I so enjoy checking in with my new students. Alrighty then. Herbology uh, class complete. Nice. Oh, those mandrakes are really relishing their new pot. It only cost me my damned hearing. Okay, so... Make anything grow. We, must we got three, understand. four minutes almost that on this still. As well as um, and concern are I suppose we come back for this later? So next order of business, we should probably go and... Um, Okay, so next, uh, okay, before we leave, because uh, I think uh, Natty is really far away, she's in like a hamlet, so let's go attend our potions class and then, then go meet Natty. I think potions class is just nearby. Yep, it's just there. Okay, so here we are at the potions class. Ooh. What does that lead to? Cool. Potions is one of the most challenging and hazardous subjects taught at this school. As fifth years, you will be required to reach new heights of both discipline and intellect. This is the professor that was with the. You will begin this Fitt. term by brewing a Wigan Weld potion. Mr. Takar. Can you tell us why this particular potion might come in handy? Yes, Professor Sharp. The Wigan Weld potion can be used to sterilize and even heal a variety of injuries. It can heal some injuries, but not all. Points for Ravenclaw. Before today's class is completed, each of you will have brewed a Wigan Weld potion of your own. You never know when you might need it. Please begin. Okay. Use a strong, even motion when crushing your ingredients. Uh. Please be meticulous when adding powder to your potions. One errant sneeze could be disastrous.
<laughs> I'm so focused. Uh, stir. Oh, the other way. Oh, like this. Hmm. Okay. Did you get it? Look at this guy. I see most of you have not forgotten how to stir. Hmm. Not an easy potion to brew. Well done. And from what I hear of your recent exploits in Hogsmeade, you'd also do well to practice brewing the defensive Edurus potion. Professor Weasley had you acquire the recipe from Jay Pippins, correct? Yes, sir. Good. For the moment, you can find the ingredients you need in my office. But in the future, you'll be expected to provide your own ingredients. Some can be harvested from the plants you grow in your herbology class, and rarer ones can be purchased. Others, however, may be harder to obtain, and will require you to be a bit more... resourceful. Come and see me when you've finished brewing, and we'll see if it was skill or luck the first time around. Okay, gotcha, we'll show you. It was totally skill. We're so skilled. That you My have parents no idea. considered keeping me home from school this year after the rumors of a goblin rebellion. Uh, Did I hear Professor Sharp say that you have permission to go into his office? You heard correctly. He did say that. He wants me to get more ingredients to brew another potion. Brilliant! You, my friend, have been presented with an extraordinary opportunity. I'm Gareth, by the way. Uh, Gareth up? Weasley. Oh, Bit of gosh. a prodigy with potions, if I do say so myself. <laughs> Weasley, pleasure to meet you. Wait, are you related to Professor Weasley? She's my aunt. Keeps oh. too close an eye on me for comfort. Ugh. But she can't be everywhere. Listen, like anyone with a troll-sized brain can brew an Adurus potion. I'm working on something that's certain to be spectacular. I'm just missing one tiny last ingredient that will add that extra spark. I suspect that's where I come in. You're as clever as I'd hoped. I simply need a single fooper feather. As you'll already be in Sharp's office with his permission, perhaps you could grab it for me. Oh gosh, uh, do we? What if we get in trouble? Bro, I can get you that, I'm not sure that's a good idea. Uh, do we be naughty? Uh, what does he need the potion for? Like, if we knew what was the potion, then we, you know... Oh, uh, we'll get it. I'll get you the Fwooper Feather, as long as you're certain Sharp won't miss it. I assure you he won't. Fwooper Feathers aren't that valuable. Wait until you see what I'm brewing. Hurry back to me when you have the feather. Okay. Oh, gosh. I feel like we're getting ourselves in trouble. Right. Is this his office? Remember, precision is key. All right. All right, we've got the feather. Ooh, that doesn't look a very common feather. Uh, uh, I, I don't know what we have for that. For the eggs, okay. Aha, uh -huh. take that too. Ooh, what's this? Memorandum, uh, from Aurora office subject. Borgen and Burks. Um, Burks has had an increased amount of activity outside of ordinary shop hours, particularly in the wee hours of the night, with suspicious deliveries being made to the shop's back entrance. Given what we know of the shop's reputation, we are adding more Aurors to join those that have already been watching the shop. You are amongst the new additions. Further instructions to follow. Ooh, interesting. Did we just take that? He'll surely notice. <laughs> that seemed to be an important letter. Okay, oh well. A well -prepared We're just with a troublemaker. A few potions on hand. Okay, so... Do we... Okay, we give him the feather first. Here's the Fwooper feather you wanted. Brilliant! Thank you! This is going to take a moment to brew. You should get back to brewing your Adurus potion, and I'll tell you when this concoction's finished. Okay, so... Are you sure that's a good idea to be brewing this potion in the... during the class? Wait, where is our pot? Oh, here. Should you chop the didney or crush it? Ah. The wrong answer could result in the unfortunate loss of your eyebrows. Okay, we'll keep that in mind. Thank you. Hey, <laughs> this is cute. Okay, brew potions from unlocked recipes at the potion station. Recipes and ingredients can be purchased from select shops. Ingredients may also be grown and found in the wild. 
Gotcha. So the one what we want to do is this one, a Jura's Potion, which uh, enhances the drinker's defense by covering them. Ah, the rocky skin. Got it. So. Okay, 27 seconds. All right, we can, uh, we can wait. So we don't need to do anything anymore. We just wait. Hey, look, it's just mixing itself. Almost done. Do and we... now we add the mallow sweet. And that's odd. What's happening? Oh, what have you Wait, done? It's not supposed to. Ah! What? Oh gosh, we're gonna get so in trouble. Oh my goodness. Dragon dog. What happened? <laughs> well done, Gareth. What now, Mr. Weasley? Sorry, Professor. That'll be points from Gryffindor oh. again. <laughs> so I guess that failed. What was he doing? What's happening? Wasn't expecting that literally to blow up in my face. <laughs> it was rather brilliant, though. Right. I better clean up. You should finish brewing your potion if you haven't already. Okay. Mr. Weasley did not do this on his own. His accomplice will answer to me as well. No! Wasn't us! Oh gosh. Uh, dang it! Are we in trouble? I brewed an edgerous potion, as you asked, Professor. I'm surprised you had the time. You seemed rather busy helping Mr. Weasley brew chaos. Oh no, he knows! Um, I don't know what you mean. I'm not sure what you're talking about, Professor. <laughs> you will not earn favor with me by failing to take responsibility for your actions. I suggest you heed my warning. Oh no! As for the work you did today at your own cauldron, I will say you've done well. I confess I was skeptical given the advanced nature of this class and the fact you're a new student. I'm glad I was able to meet your expectations. A rare occurrence. And you do well to remember that you're not a potions master quite yet. In addition to having a solid grasp of how to combine various ingredients, you should gain an understanding of the ingredients themselves. Pay particular attention in herbology. The plants you nurture there are often essential to the potions you brew here. Now, I recommend that you find a safe location in which to practice brewing. You cannot leave a hot cauldron simply anywhere. That'll be all. All right. Okay, at least he didn't take points. I think points. each of us has had enough excitement for one day. Class is dismissed. Okay. <laughs> Thank you, sir. <laughs> Gosh. A first potions and we're in trouble. We got ourselves in trouble. I knew we shouldn't listen to the Weasley boy. Right. Should we talk to him? That was an interesting class. Thanks to you. Wasn't precisely what I had in mind, but it was still brilliant. I appreciate your help. I hope Sharp wasn't too disagreeable when you handed in your potion. I heard him talking about taking responsibility. Eh. Professor Sharp was annoyed, but we sorted it out. No harm. Cheers to that. He probably had a good chuckle after we left. Sharp may seem gruff, but I'd bet a few galleons he blew up a potion or two in his day. Best be off. Next time we talk, I promise. Fewer explosions. All right. You better keep that from it. Stop getting us in trouble. Um, okay, so... Uh, how come we can talk to this girl? Don't fret if you run out of ingredients. I simply grow most of what I need. Okay, thanks. What's down there? Should we take a peek? What's down this way? Ah. Oh. Hello there. Where does... Oh, okay. It's locked. Bummer. Oh, we're back. Uh... Okay, so next thing we want to do is get to Natty. I believe. Let's take a look. Quests, quest, 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 quest. Yes, yeah, so that is our main quest. 
uh, the assignments, keys, catch, the gobstones. Uh, we still got cross wands. We'll see if we have time for that. I don't know. Uh, we'll see. But let's go meet Natty. It's only level four. So let's do this one. So where do we gotta go? Ooh, we gotta go super far. And I'm guessing, since we've never been there before, we're gonna have to walk there. Alright. Hey, you guys, check this out. We figured out how to use the skin. Ta-da! Look at us! Now we look so cool. Yay! So, all we gotta do is just, when you hover over this, there's a... Uh, I need to click like F and then I can change like appearance in here. That's pretty cool. So these are all the ones that we've collected so far. Ooh, what's this one? <laughs> it's just like a jacket. Cool. Yeah, we like this one though. Yeah. So we'll keep it. Uh, all right. So on our way. Hmm. What's this? Oh, what? Dang. Excuse me, why are you closing it? <laughs> Let me know. That's creepy. Ugh. It just turned to us. Ooh. Wow, look at this view. So cool. So far, nothing too interesting. We're just on the way to Natty. And um, yeah, we didn't really discover anything. Just gathering some stuff on the way. We'll bring us back if there's anything interesting happens. It is all really pretty. Like, I want to show everything, but we don't have that much time. Oh, there's a question mark here. What's up with that? Let me open it. <laughs> a check. Can't. Let me open it. <gasps> Hi, sheep. We go inside. Hello. Oh. Whose house is this? Ew, what's a toilet? Gross. I hear something here though. Is there uh, some value? Aha! Uh -huh. I knew it. Here we go. Groundkeeper's tools. Uh, one might surmise that this set of tools could be enchanted to create all sorts of furnishings for a cozy hut as large as the occupant may need. Oh. Okay. Interesting. Eh? There's. Is that a cave icon? Wait, is that a cave this under? This looks us? intriguing. I know. Is that a cave? Oh. Oh, what's that? A beaver? What are you? Dogbog, level eight. Do you reckon we can take him? <laughs> It's not coming. Can we... What is he doing? Can we swim? Do we get any materials out of that? Is swimming a thing here? Oh, it is. Cool. 
Ooh, it's scary though. Oh gosh. Let's get out of here. Yeah. <laughs> get out, key. Leech juice. Ooh. Gross. I just got massive goosebumps. But I'm guessing this will be useful for a potion. Ugh. That's gross. That is something here. What is this? Pork clump juice. Uh, what's this? Oh, I feel like we need to put that cube over here. Oh, wait, let's get a bit. So, can we be Hmm? Ooh. Ah! Now what? Rebellion. Hmm. Well, we. Do we need to bring it over here then? Uh, okay, let's try that. Wait. Come on. Whoa! What's up with this? Um. No? Okay, hold on. Uh, it's what if we... Okay, and then... Aha! Genius. We're so smart. Um, I hope this is not super high level cave. Ooh, we always get distracted, but I love it. I love this. I love that about games where you're just like, you're on a mission and then you find something else to do. That's how Red Dead was, Red Dead 2. Love that. Okay. Ooh, we've got a chest. Is that it? Is there nothing else here? Rebellion. Oh, okay, so we just kind of solved the puzzle and yeah, we got, we got some loot. Nice, okay. So what about this? This gotta be something too. Incendio. Hmm. I don't know. What could this be? This reaches. Okay, so I think we're kind of here at the Hamlet. And there seems to be a side quest here for us. So let's go check that out. I hope I could teach you for some assistance. Grace Pinch Smedley. Hello, can I help you? Oh, thank goodness. Yes, my name is Grace Pinch Smedley. Of the Bath Pinch Smedleys? I was hoping someone would come along soon. I was about to defy my father's wishes and would never have forgiven myself. You see, I need to retrieve something from the bottom of the lake. Might you be the one to help me? Oh. Uh... An underwater adventure sounds like fun, but can we dive? Diving into the lake sounds like an adventure. Tell me more. Splendid! Precisely the response I'd hoped for. What do you need help retrieving? Years ago, my grandfather, who fancied himself quite the astronomer, 
set sail from Hogsmeade Station for what was meant to be a quick stargazing cruise with my grandmother. They never returned. Oh, I'm gosh. so sorry. What happened to them? We can't be sure. We only know that neither they nor their boat made it back to shore. They were presumed drowned. Father was so distraught that he forbade our family from setting foot on or in the Black Lake ever again. A treasured family astrolabe vanished with them that night. If you could dive down and retrieve it, I may be able to bring my father some peace. Hmm. What is an astrolabe? What exactly is an astrolabe? It's an astonishing ancient navigational tool. Essentially, a handheld model of the universe. It's mainly used for studying the stars, astronomical pursuits, but it has nearly a thousand uses. Fascinating device. Sadly, I'd imagine it's rusted beyond repair now. Still, we'd love to have it returned to us. It would be like getting a bit of my grandparents back. You seem to think I might have heard of the Bath Pinch Smedleys. Why would I know of your family? That's like asking why the sky is blue or grass is green. The Pinch Smedley name is synonymous with intellectual curiosity. We are known for our contributions to science and art. I'm surprised you haven't heard of us, frankly. But with all I plan to discover about the world around us, those that don't yet know the name certainly one day will. <laughs> All right, and we'll have to think about this. It sounds dangerous, especially for something of mere sentimental value. I understand. But I'd be forever grateful. Of course, you may discover much more than the astrolabe. Anything else you found would be all yours. I've cross-referenced the vessel's last alleged location against the lake's topography, depth charts and tide schedule. My best guess is that it's just over there, about a furlong from the dock. It would be wonderful to have my grandfather's astrolabe back. All right, all right, she's real selling it. I do um, hope you find the astrolabe. It would mean so much to our family. It sounds as if her astrolabe is just northeast of the dock. I should dive down and see. Really? Can we dive down? Are you kidding me? I'm scared of the waters. Are you joking? Um, well, we'll think about it. We'll think about it. <laughs> I'll say we'll think about it, but I don't know. I guess we'll have to at some point. Um, but let's, let's go to Natty. Let's see what Natty wants. Oh, lower Hogsfield. One of my two favorite Hogsfields. Lovely this time of year. Okay, so I guess we gotta wait for daytime. It is good to see you, my friend. Hi, Natty. What's up? Hello, Natty. How are you? I am well, thank you. I was there, and I saw what happened with Rookwood and Harlow at the Three Broomsticks. I have been worried about you. I'm all right at the moment. If you don't mind my asking, why were they looking for you? Uh, okay, um, uh, do we want to tell all our friends about this? Uh, I mean, I feel like this should be a secret. We already told one person. But I feel like Natty and Sebastian are supposed to be like, um, Hermione and, and Ron to Harry, so... Okay, maybe we'll tell just one more person and then... They want something that Professor Fig and I found at Gringotts. When were you at Gringotts? Just before we came to Hogwarts. In fact, it's why I was late to the sorting ceremony. A port key brought us there after the dragon attacked our carriage. What on earth? There's one more thing. It's a bit odd, if I'm honest. Professor Fig says I have a rare connection to a powerful form of ancient magic. I... What does that mean? I'm still learning, but I can see traces of it. And I've cast magic I can't otherwise explain. I know that's a lot to absorb. It is. And I will have more questions. For now, it is safe to say that Rookwood and Harlow are a threat to both of us. To all of us. Which is why I wanted to speak to you. 
Everyone has been talking about you defending Hogsmeade from that troll attack. And I shall never forget watching Serona stand up to Rookwood and Hollow in the Three Broomsticks. Both of you have inspired me to take a stand of my own. What sort of stand? Men like Rookwood and Harlow are the reason my mother and I left Matibili land. I am not going to sit by and watch them destroy my new home. Aww. Um, this could be dangerous. Rookwood and Harlow are a dangerous pair on their own. And you should know that Rookwood is in league with Ranrock. I had heard they were seen in Hogsmeade together. All the more reason they must be stopped. Rumor has it that Theophilus Harlow runs Rookwood's day-to-day -day operations, taking him down would cripple Rookwood's entire enterprise. That may be true, but shouldn't Officer Singer handle someone like Harlow? I spoke with her. She was polite, but perhaps understandably would not discuss details with a student. I overheard some of Rookwood's lot talking about a massive poaching operation that Harlow was planning. I was thinking that we could investigate a bit, try to get the evidence that Officer Singer needs. All right. But how? I am going to watch and listen, find out precisely what Halo is up to. I shall reach out when I know more. In the meantime, remember, I am here if you need me. Thank you, Natty. Be on your guard. Yay, so Natty is going to be like our BFF. <laughs> Hi, oh, our your best friend. We can have a trio like Harry What's did. What's going on here? Huh? Where? Going on where? Help the stranger. Help the stranger. We're out of time, stranger. What do you want? Well, let's go take a peek with stuff. They must have come this way. Think! Who's that? I've no idea who it is you think I might have seen. I've been busy with my research. I do not have time to... Victor Rookwood don't give a doxy's nip back your oh. time. Oi! Speak of the devil. Mr. Rookwood would like a word with you. <gasps> a student! You can't be sick! <laughs> oh my gosh. Gosh. You. Leave her alone. Oh gosh. Okay. There you are. Oh. 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 Uh -huh. Got him. Tell Rookwood to find me himself. Oh gosh. Oh, watch the light go out of your eyes. This one seems stronger. Okay. Uh huh. Been updated with new enemy type. You may learn valuable insights on enemies such as weaknesses to certain spells. Okay. I'm not going anywhere with you. Come on, you take this! You can go to my game, buddy! You will pay for it! There you go. Where are you? Oh, he gone. Aha! We showed him. Good job, lady. What on earth just happened? I've never been accosted in such a manner. Been so close to Hogwarts. <laughs> right? Oh my gosh. I feel like this is loot. No, it's not. That's our stuff. <laughs> okay, we showed him so. This guy is really looking for us. Stop with this. But he's gonna have to come and get us himself. We ain't going down that easily. All right, Nora Treadwell. Uh, are you all right? I am, thanks in no small part to your excellent defensive skills. Care to tell me why two Ashwinders were ready to dispatch me to get to you? Ashwinders? Victor Rookwood, thieves and extortionists, his little cronies. They seemed quite keen on you. It's a long story, but thank you for your help. Hmm. Well, you've avoided them for the moment. Priya warned me things were getting dangerous. Best get moving on my research before they return. All right. Who's Priya? You mentioned someone named Priya. Yes, my wife. 
She's the one who piqued my oh. interest in Merlin, gave me a book when we were students at Hogwarts. Typical hard-working Hufflepuff, brilliant potioner, has her own shop in Nocturne Alley. She's a travelling vendor, hears what's going on in the Highlands before I do. Oh, I see. You're a researcher. Nora Treadwell at your service. Historian and archaeologist specialising in Merlin's work and life. Wow. Cool. I thought Merlin was a myth. I thought that Merlin and the Tales about King Arthur's court were mere myth. Mere myth? <laughs> You're lucky Sir Cadogan didn't hear you. Chatters on endlessly about his connection to Merlin from his portrait at Hogwarts. Oh. Merlin attended Hogwarts, you know, and I'm studying some curious fixtures he left here centuries ago. Fixtures? These vine-covered pillars, dozens of them all around the area. I've taken to calling them the Trials of Merlin. I believe he created them as a diversion for his fellow Slytherins. <laughs> he was terribly fond of puzzles and enigmas. I can see why you're so interested in Merlin. I'd be keen to know more about the trials. Well then, I'll let you in on a little secret. No one has yet managed to figure out how they work. But I believe I have just unlocked a crucial clue. I suspect that Mallow Sweet is an important component in getting the trials to work. Mallow Sweet? Versatile herb. Merlin repeatedly mentioned it in his writings. I had just arrived to test my theory when I was so rudely interrupted. You see, each swirl in Merlin's writing has a symbol in the center. That started me thinking, what if... Mallow Sweet is meant to be placed at the center of the symbols. Precisely. Would you care to do the honors? We can see what comes of our little hypothesis. I brought a trunk chock full of mallow sweet with me. It's just over there by my tent. All right, that's some really cool stuff. Merlin attended Hogwarts? Awesome, good to know. And we're really curious to see what she's got over here going, but I'm afraid we're out of time. So we got to leave it at that over here. And so I hope you all enjoyed the video. Don't forget to leave, subscribe, share, and all that kind of stuff. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.